video is sponsored by Pixel Games UK. Visit www.pixel-games.co.uk, home of game comparisons, gaming news and everything retro game related. This is Danny through Paisley Eyes and today we're having a kind of a conference meeting. I've got fabulous young Faye Marshall with me. Um, I've got a coach Mitch with me, coach is not a coach, a coach, Mitch with us, who's down on the right. And then up on the top, we've got Pete, who's the gym owner. Guys, thank you so much for joining us today. No problem. No problems at all. Um, Faye, we'll start with you, because um, this is kind of about you. Tell us how you, how you got into boxing. And, um, and yeah, give us a bit of an overview of what these, what these two guys are doing for you in the background. Um, I started kickboxing. and then. I'd be enough for everyone in my category. And then I just wanted to try a bit of boxing. Okay. Now, you say that you beat everybody in your category. You're kind of watering that down a little bit because you were a world champion as well, weren't you? No, I fought everybody. Oh, sorry. You fought everybody. In, but you did become yeah. a world champ, didn't you? Yeah. Okay. Tell us a little bit about that fight and how that happened. Um, in 2016, I went to France and fought in the World Championships and won. Brilliant. I love it. There's, there's nothing more honest than, uh, yeah. than being direct with it. <laughs> <laughs> Pete, I'm, I'm going to come to you. Um, when, when Faye first kind of walked into the gym or you first became aware of Faye in the gym, what was, what was your immediate thoughts? Because Faye comes across as a, a very, very sort of a you know, a shy, well-mannered and well-behaved, lovely kid, you know? She disappeared under the radar for a few weeks because it was that quiet. Um, she, you know, and the gym's packed, it's full and everything. And uh, I'm, I'm busy, like, we got, uh, we had three professional, uh, two professional fighters down there at the time. So I'm busy with that. And it's me too. He oversees all the amateur side of it and everything. Um, and she sort of like disappeared a bit. And then she very, very quiet. She's very quiet, unlike her mother. <laughs> 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 yeah, I've, I've met Haley. She's a character. She's great. Uh, Mitch, when, when, when did you first sort of become aware of Faye then? So... Pete was saying there that um, you know she was kind of under the radar. How did how did you spot yeah, her? Yeah, I, I tell you what, Adam. I'm, I remember when she first come down, and um, at the time, <laughs> believe it or not, me and Pete were debating about having female fighters. And um, I remember, oh, I remember her coming down, and I says, and I just seen her on the bags, and I went, Pete, I tell you what, we ain't gonna need to have female fighters in this gym, and. It just developed from there. I think at the time, Faye was trialling other gyms as well because she was turning over from the kickboxing to boxing. And um, and then she just ended up um, coming to us. I mean, it was ironic because at the time, she had, a, she had a, a medical at our gym, ironically, and then she ended up boxing for us. So, <clears throat> Brilliant. And it's, it's, it's obviously now now that Faye's settled in because Faye, Faye's record at the moment is 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 eight and two um and we're going to talk about that fabulous trilogy in a minute the Taylor Spooner trilogy which I've, I've seen some of um and yeah it, it's been great w would you say that Faye has, has been sort of now that you've got more female fighters in the gym has she been a positive influence on those girls that are coming in as well yeah uh, def definitely yeah definitely um the other three Girls that we've got, um, them. I mean, little Chloe is very good. Um, <laughs> and the other two, we've got. Um, oh, really nice. <laughs> we've got uh, Lexi and Maisie, and uh, and and Lexi. You know, they all spar together, and sort of like Faye has brought them on. You know, she brings them on, and. Uh, I've got to be honest, as Mitch says, I, I want a fan of female boxers. Um, I'm a bit old school, I think. You know, the, it's, you can, when a lad's nose is bleeding, you can just wipe the face, can't you, and just kick him out for the next year. 
when it's a pretty girl's now, it's bloody, you know, you can call now, you know. And, yeah. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm with you on this. I mean, I can remember the first time that I saw Katie Taylor boxing on the telly and you see her in the build-up and that and she's this gorgeous girl who's, who's very, very softly spoken and then you see her in the ring and it's animalistic and you're like, my God, what a contrast. Yeah. Um, but apparently, according to the, st- the statistics, female boxing is the fastest growing sport in the country right now. Well, I was going to say that yep. I find with, with the girls, it is a, it's, it, they're better to train than the lads. Really? They'll listen to everything you tell them. Yeah. They'll agree on that. They'll listen to everything. You know, the three yeah, the, the four of them in the gym, they all yeah. you tell them something and they'll work on it. Whereas the lads, they mess a bed. Well, yeah, they just want to catch you as heads in, don't they? They want to give it the big end, don't they, lads? <laughs> some of them, and they look at you as if so, oh, he's off again. <laughs> <laughs> he's moaning again. But uh, with the girls, you can tell, you can tell them something, you can tell Fai something, and she'll do it next round. You know, Brilliant. So, uh, and that's that's really positive. As long as they listen, they like, you know, I mean, they're always going to get hurt. They're always going to get hit. But uh, as long as they listen, you know, and uh, them, yeah, the, the four of them, the four girls in the gym, they've, they've been they've been a, a positive for the gym, I think. Brilliant. Yeah, with their attitude and and they're a good laugh as well. Yeah. That's me as well, like you know, we have some fun with them. So. You know, and um, and hopefully, I think they, I think they all, uh, she'll, she'll do really well. She'll, she keeps at it. We always say the cutoff point sixteen, when they just start discovering lads and start going out with, you know, with her mates, drinking and that. I think we fail. I don't think she'll. Uh, I don't think she'll be one of them. I think she'll carry on into it. And you know, a, a, a dream is to box in the Olympics and. It ain't uh, it ain't unreachable for her to do that. Wow, Faye, that's 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 some um, that's some praise you've just been given there, kid. We, and that's still the dream, is it, to box in the Olympics, represent your country? Yeah. Fantastic. We'll be we'll be cheering you on, kid. No doubt about that. Let's have a little chat about your nemesis, Taylor Spooner. Now. Uh, there's been a little bit of a trilogy between you girls, hasn't there? There's been three fights. Um, and believe it or not, the only one I've seen is the one that, that, you, that you lost. Um, and it was, it was, I mean, obviously it was, it was on a decision. What, 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 was, what was your, I, I know that, and we're not making excuses here because we don't do stuff like that, but we do know that, that Faye hadn't been well that week. And, and when, uh, for the benefit of anybody going to watch this um, and end up watching the fight, you're seeing round three, her uh, legs had gone. But what was, how did you feel when you, because when you, obviously you'd beaten Taylor twice um, beforehand. How did it feel to, to, to get beaten by her? What was it like at the end? How did you, how did you feel? Um, I was just like a bit disappointed. But I'd still meet her twice, and I'm sure we'll fight again. So, would you would you it's, like to fight her again? Yeah. Mitch, what was it like for you? Obviously, working her corner in that fight, and and uh, as I say, Haley um, Faye's mum sent me the fight over. I watched it. The third, what I loved about Faye at the start of that third round is she's made a beeline straight for the middle of the ring. She's tried to control the final final round, and obviously, unfortunately, because she'd been poorly, the legs had run out. You must have been proud, though, watching her in that third round. Definitely. I mean, we said from the off, because obviously she hasn't been very well, I said, just have an absolute blinder the first two. And then the third, we'll, we'll, just, we'll get our way through it. But obviously, the Taylor come on strong the last round. I was just proud the way she dug deep. And, you know, when the questions get asked like that, that's when you start to see what the fight is made of then. Yeah. <clears throat> And the technique was still brilliant as well, because as I say, she's come out to the middle of the round. She's still throwing the jab. She wasn't just going wild or anything like that, looking for a, for a knockout. She was actually, you know, sticking to the game plan. Yeah, definitely. You know, still technically there, and you know, it's uh, as as boxers, you know, that when it's when you're fatigued, it's it's hardest to get your boxing together. Then, and she still kept her boxing together. It's just that she was just outpointed on the day, and. <laughs> 
you know, don't worry about it. We'll go on to the next one. Brilliant. And um, what is what is you know, um, Peter, Mitch? What what is the, the 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 sort of when lockdown's over and you can get everybody back in the gym again and start training? What 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 does Faye do next? What's their next step? Well, um, first of all, I've got to check a white. Very fat it is. <laughs> I'm not very fat to know that. I think we like it'll be interesting with the lockdown when all the lockdowns are over and everything. It'll be interesting. Who has stopped in the white brackets and uh, there'll be other fighters, you know, that, that fill out, don't they? Everybody at 13, 14, that fill out, they start growing and that. And I think uh, it might be a case. Tyler's a big girl, so it might be a case that I might have put a few kilo on. Can't get down to Faye's weight. She might have gone on and, you know, and uh, put a bit of timber on and, um, and it might be called me a completely different weight category. Um, and other girls might be coming up from lower weights. And it'll be interesting. It'll be very interesting to see, you know, how, um, how the fighters have grown and stuff over the, uh, over the lockdown period. This is the longest period this is in 21 years since the gym has been open. This is the longest period we've ever had off. Yeah. And uh, it'll be very interesting to see who comes back and what lights they've come back and everything. It's, um, yeah, but Mitch, Mitch has been doing some, um, some Zoom uh, training sessions and I watched it uh, Friday night and, and fair play to him. He kept him, he kept, well, I think there were six of them on them, right? And he kept the six on them enthralled for an hour and a half and that's mm -hmm. hard to do sitting in your bedroom yeah with just your laptop and you've done it for an hour and a half and it was absolutely fantastic and the, they all enjoyed it except Alfie because <laughs> he's bloody barn idol but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but um you know Mitch kept him enthralled no I thought it was absolutely fantastic I really did it was a really good session that was I enjoyed watching that can you can you guys tell me? I mean, Faye, I don't want to be talking about you like you're not in the room. Obviously, Faye ended, um, entered something called the England Talent Pathway. Can you guys um, sort of elaborate on that and tell us what that is and how that happens? Mitch will tell you about that because he's took it to all the. <laughs> um, basically, basically, what happens if you get through to the final of the nationals, you then go on to the England Talent Pathway which is then you have six, what it was called is a school's talent academy. And um, you have six sessions. Free was up um, at the England Institute of Sport. And it's just um, development days for young boxers to improve their skills and get an insight into what could, what could actually be, you know, at the end of the tunnel when you eventually start achieving and you want to be on the GB squad. And I'll tell you what, it was, un it was an unbelievable experience just to be up there and I mean with the first day even for me like cause I'm, I'm only a young coach and you know it was on the day when you're at GB you actually you can you do you spar in the you spar in the ring that Anthony Joshua boxed in the Olympics didn't you fight at London yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you know who can say that <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but of course, Faye's, Faye's got this this tremendous history of of sparring and training with the pros because you bumped into Cal Brook, didn't you, while you were on holiday? Yeah, I went to uh, Fort Ventura, and we found a gym near where, we, where our hotel was, and um, he was training there with his coach, John Pukes. Brilliant. And what was it like to, to, to have a little bit of a training session with Cal Brook? Did he put you through it? Did he did he take you to your paces? Yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant. Okay, well, moving forward, let's just say lockdown ends hopefully before Christmas this year. Um and, and, and everything gets back to normal. What what do you see happening next, Mitch? Let's just say you go back to the gym, phase on point with her weight. Yeah. Where does, where does she go next? Well, we've been having updates from England Boxing and they, them saying that because the Nationals was cancelled, they're on about putting um, only female box cups on, wow. for example. And um, obviously, if, all, if there's a, a way to, to make that work with all the guidelines, then obviously we'll, we'll enter Faye in those. 
Um, there's a few off the top of my head. There's the Winter Box Cup, it's called, and the Rivera Box Cup in Devon in November and December. Mm-hmm. So if and then the difference is with with boxers like Faye, she she ticks over. She doesn't just sit on the couch and do nothing. So it's it's going to be a pretty smooth process back into getting sharp and about ready again. Mm-hmm. So you know that those box cups are achievable this year if they can sort the guidelines out for us to do it safely, of course. Brilliant. Sparring. Really Sorry, Pete. 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 He's sparring. Really nice. She'll just need to spar and get a timing right and everything because from what I've seen, she's ticked over. She's been running, bike rides, shadow boxing, doing the sessions. So she'll only need sparring. She'll need to get a timing back in that. But uh, yeah, she will, um, she'll be she'll be in on it. A little bit of fine tuning, and she's back in the ring again. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Faye, obviously, we, we we mentioned before about female boxing and how it's on the rise at the moment, and there's so many great female fighters out there at the moment. Who's your favourite? Um, probably Terry Harper. Why is that? What, any particular reason? Is it her style? Is it the way she's she's come from nothing? What what what? Why is she your favourite? I just like how she didn't have like she weren't in the Olympics or anything, and then she had a fight, and then she's just come big from nothing. Did Did you watch Did you watch it the night she became world champ? Oh uh, yeah. Some fight, absolutely some fight. Yeah, Pete. For anybody based in the Midlands, the the, the gym um, is called the Great Whirly Boxing Gym. Is that right? I'm glad I pronounced that right. Um, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and if people, you know, if, if we've got some, you know, some youngsters wanting to come down and, and, and have a chat with you guys, are you guys on social media? Yes, yeah, we're on social media. We're on Facebook, uh, Twitter, um, Instagram. We're on that as well. So uh, if they just want to get in touch and... Uh, Usually, I'm pretty quick at answering messages. Sometimes, <laughs> so, yeah. So I just want to get in touch with me, and I'll uh, I'll just give them all the details of the gym and where it is, and you know, and um, and that can come along and try it. Fantastic! Thanks for joining us today. I mean, this is this has been a really enlightening and kind of exciting interview for me because Faye's by far and on the youngest person I've spoken to in any sport at 13 years of age um, and to be such a talent is has got to be really exciting for you guys to have her in the gym yeah yeah it is yeah definitely we've got some good talented fighters down there we've got David Peter is another one who reached the uh, national final we, we waited 20 years for them to get a national finalist and then we had two in the same year brilliant so, uh, and David Peter reached uh, a national final and uh, when Faye reached it, I was absolutely gutted because I waited all them years and, and couldn't mark the final because I was at Stevenage um, Football Club. I uh, Billy Joe Saunders, Bill with, with Sean Box, Sean Kirker boxing on it. So right. the um, the next and the next morning, uh, Faye was boxing, and I'd got to get back home. To, uh, so uh, I ended up watching it on YouTube uh, back home on my phone. <laughs> we watched it in the in the pub, <laughs> <laughs> and then dancing uh, around the yeah. alehouse with the pints. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah, so um, it's uh, yeah, it's uh, it's good. It, it, as I said, we've got we've got a. It's probably the best squad of boxers we've had in twenty one years. Um, and what I like about it is that they all support one another. With five boxes, about seven or eight of them all go along and watch a fight. So uh, it's 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 really good, yeah. It's really good. Good camaraderie down there. It is very good. It's nice to hear that there's a there's a decent sort of community, um, family type situation there within the gym where everybody looks after everybody. Um, and you know, lads, congratulations on the work that you're doing so far. You, obviously, you've you've had your two in, in the finals. You mentioned earlier to me that you've had a couple of professionals coming through the stable as well. Um, you know, you've got some great young kids coming through, and and Faye will absolutely be watching your career with great interest, kid. You you're all over social media, aren't you? Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. 
Yeah. Fantastic. Well, look, thanks for joining us today. Um, we'll we'll catch up again at some point in the future, definitely. And uh, look forward to look forward to seeing how you're getting on. Thanks, Thank Adam. you. Thanks a lot. Cheers, mate. Take yeah. care. All the best. Cheers, now. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you. See ya.